Today I'm joined in the studio by Danny Brook, sales engineer of Tamework Holding. Danny, I've seen a lot of these products in the marketplace, but I'm intrigued to learn a little bit more. How does it work? Uh, so the, the vacuum systems that we sell, they uh, work off of a designated pump outside the machine. Um, so you have a pipe that comes into the machine and comes to one of our various fixtures that we can offer. Um, the main one that we offer is uh, what's called the vac mat and the main benefit of that is that you can actually machine right the way through the component and into the fixture without damaging uh, the, al the aluminium or steel. Uh, you can also go all the way around the profile of it, you know, so you're getting parts off that are completely finished, there's no sort of snap out. Yeah, yeah, because historically I've seen a lot of these in like sign making companies and things like that, but they seem to have taken a transition across to general manufacturing as well. So that's going to suck that down obviously under vacuum, but how would you machine that any other way? I guess you'd have to have loads of clamps and move them around, it'd be a nonsense wouldn't it? Yeah, exactly, yeah, so you can, you'd can. you have to clamp down and obviously machine up to that and then uh, remove that clamp, put it on the next position and uh, machine where, where you've just been clamping so it avoids all of that, you know, much less ops and uh, quicker turnaround of parts. And is, is that the reason? It's, quick, it's e easier to hold, quicker to set up? How about repeatability, if I've got five of these, do we have to guess how it goes on? Do we have to probe it? How could we guarantee that that's going to be machined the same every time? Yeah, I mean the flatness tolerance is about uh, 15 microns, so um, you get quite a good flatness. Uh, we also um, supply edge stops, so you can put the part into the edge of the plate so that it's repeating again within about 15 microns. Um, there's spaces in the in the uh, top of the plate also to put dowels so that you can put it up against those, you know, to, to repeat back against that. So there's various different ways of, uh, of making it repeat. And how about if we had multiple components, if that was, you know, a bit small and we wanted to load two, could we machine this? Is it machinable? Can we put dowels into the... The whole, you know, the body of the work holding. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, you can, uh, you know, we would normally try and recommend that you're getting various parts out of a, a larger piece. So, uh, the rule of thumb is that you've got to be covering at least fifty percent of the mat to uh, to generate the vacuum on that particular area. Um, any less than that, and obviously you're starting to sort of leak air underneath. But um, but no, they're they're pretty good. And if you um, machine into it, if you're doing the same part again and again and you're machining the same uh, pads, then you can keep putting those parts on. You don't have to throw away the pad every single time you've, uh, you've got a part off. And I've, I, when I see, see these in the marketplace, I, I always think, I think I could pull that off, so let, let's have a go. <laughs> All right, on. yeah. So, give that a go then, Joe. Oh, good grief. <laughs> Incredible, isn't it? Yeah. And that's now ready for machining. Exactly, yeah. So, I mean, once you've got it in position and clamped, it's ready for machining. You can go all the way around the profile and do the through holes. And then when you're finished, just turn it off and then uh, just pull it off as easy as that. And what type of machine? This is, I see it's great for a vertical machining centre, but is that it? Could it go on a horizontal or, you know, Five axes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we do uh, we do various different different ways. I mean, we've done towers on horizontals, so for, for longer parts where you want to get uh, different faces. Uh, we also do turning applications. So if you uh, have got a, a chuck, you know, we can um, replace that with a with a vacuum um, supply through down the spindle, and so you can do turning applications as well. And how does this work? The one where you have to put the seal in. Um, so this is um, a slightly more common uh, type of fixture, but we do these in various uh, different sizes. And um, here you have to you put the seal into the to the various channels to actually blank off the area of the fixture that you want to generate the vacuum. Um, so so you can do smaller parts on these, um, but you can't go through. I mean, if you're machining through, you're going into this fixture, you know, and obviously you don't want to do that. So is this an inferior product to this one? Is it a cheaper product or is it just different? It very much depends, yeah, on what application you've got. I mean, you get slightly better flatness tolerances on the uh, grid fixture, um, but, you know, most uh, components, as you see, we've got a few here, you know, you do have through holes or you do want to go all the way around the outside and the only way you can really do that is with the vac mat. So another work holding solution from Team Work Holding. You guys do it all. Yeah, we do indeed, yeah. Thanks, Danny. Thank you.